got a revenue agency. How can I help you? Hi there. I just got a phone call from the CRA. It left a message on my answering machine saying that there's something wrong with my account. All right. So when you file the tax by yourself or you did it through your accountant or some tax company? Yeah, I go through a guy named Justin Trudeau. All right. So for how long you have been using that guy to do your taxes? A few years now. So I'm Mr. Baker. Like I said, uh, there is a case under your name for about a CRA if you guys have your personal income taxes. Mm -hmm. Because our audit department has found some discrepancies and on authenticated activities on your tax file. So, uh, do you have a criminal lawyer who can repress you in the courthouse at this point of time? I could find one, I guess. H how much do I owe? That is $4,974. Like, did you guys try to do it intentionally or it was a kind of an unintentional act from your end? It was definitely a mistake because, uh, you know, I've been going to Justin Trudeau, this tax guy, for a while, and um, I thought he was doing good work, but apparently not, I guess. I don't know. Well, he, he was able to give me a return last year of $10,000, so I, I thought something was wrong, but I was really happy to receive $10,000 from Justin Trudeau, so I guess maybe that was the problem. I, I just sort of blindly took that money. Yeah, did you try to check all the documents that you received from that guy? Well, I don't understand what boxes to fill out. I don't understand what the numbers mean. I mean, I, that's why I paid him. That's why I paid Justin. So you are completely, like, you are completely blind. Like, uh, you, you don't know nothing about the tax. No. About the parley. No, no. You have any idea how it works. Like I said, I'm a musician. I don't know anything about taxes. I tried, but I don't understand uh, the, the, you know, the language of the tax forms. Maybe there was a text from the other language then, not in English. Well, they, they're, um, they're in French uh, and English. Maybe this is the first time you have had this problem with the government, right? Uh, I, th I think so, yeah. You think so? You're not sure? Well, I'm, I, well, I'm not sure now because you're, you're telling me that there is a problem and I thought there wasn't a problem, so that's the problem. It was a part of the mistake of yours, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the guy that I hired... Um, for my taxes, uh, named Justin Trudeau was doing doing a bad job, I guess. Do you have the outstanding amount with you of four thousand nine hundred and seventy four dollars in order to rectify the situation out of the code? Um, probably about five hundred dollars. Ma'am, I need to let you know five hundred dollars will not be an acceptable amount from the CRA, ma'am. There's a bank across the street from me, and um, I could probably do it within a few minutes. I'm just gonna go around the house and get some cash. No I'm still here, just getting change. No problem. Some bills. Just going in the uh, underwear drawer to get bills here. Sorry. Okay. No problem. I think I have uh, the money here. What you have? Uh, I think I got about 500 here, and then I'm going to go to the bank and take out another 1,000, I guess. Try to get $1,500 from the bank. As you have $500 with the cash with you, you can altogether make a payment of $2,000. And the rest of the amount, you won't be getting a payment plan for that. So. Um, okay, I'll have to get an overdraft. That I won't be making next month's rent, but uh, okay, I'll have to do that. I can't get arrested right now, so. So once you reach to your bank, you can just let me know. No, I'll be walking. It's just across the street. Once you're in the bike parking lot, just let me know. Yeah, I, it, I'm outside now. Yeah. Okay, I'm at the, the parking lot. Sorry, it's a bit windy. You need to tell, yes, but you need, yes. Okay, I have, um, I have the money here. Okay, how much amount do you have with you right now? $2,900? $3,000 here. You need to go to the 7-Eleven. Ten minutes. I could take the car. I'm driving now. I'm just turning the radio on a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go in there now.
I'm in the parking lot. Okay, sorry, there's just, um, it's windy out here. Okay, no problem. You can get inside the 7-Eleven, and once you're inside the 7-Eleven, you can just let me know. Sure, no problem. It's a big parking lot, so, uh, hold on. And there, I see somebody in the corner there playing trumpet. Sorry if, sorry for the noise here. really bad at trumpet. Okay, I'm inside the, the 7-Eleven. Okay, not a problem. Now you can go to the 7-Eleven gift card section. So can you see the Steam card over there? Yeah, I see the Steam card, yeah. I think there's one for 500, actually. If you can get six of them, you can get six of them. It's not a problem. Sorry, I just can't find them very easily here. Uh, they're all out of order here, so sorry, I'll just uh, take a second here. Okay, I got it. I have I have the steam vouchers. Okay, no problem, ma'am. And can you just let me know where are you right now? I'm in the car right now. Can you help me out with the card number? Yeah, I just gotta get it out of my wallet. Hold on. No, no problem, no problem. You can get it out from your wallet and you can swipe the scratch the card. And backside of the card, you can see the code. If you can help me out with the codes, which you can see in the card. Yeah, sure. I just uh, scratch it now. Card. Okay, so the first um, number is um, one. Okay. Number one, okay. Yeah, and then the second number is six. Uh -huh. And the next number is two. Uh -huh. Next number is five. Uh -huh. Dominant. And then one. Uh -huh. And then three. Uh -huh. And then six, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. five, uh -huh. and then back to one. But this time it's uh, minor. Uh -huh. And then we go to uh, four minor. Uh -huh. And then seven, flat seven dominant. Uh -huh. And then uh, flat three major. Um, and okay, then I didn't get it off the seven. The flat three major, yeah. Okay. But okay. it's got it's got a major yeah. seven. It's got a major okay. seven on it though. Okay, okay. Can you repeat the card number for me once again? Yeah, sure. It's uh, one. Uh -huh. And then six. Uh, uh, yep. And then two, uh, five, uh -huh. and then back to one, and then three dominant, uh -huh. six, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. five, uh -huh. one, but then we go minor, uh -huh. and then four minor. And then flat uh, seven dominant. And then flat three major seven. Yeah. Okay. So how I see, much alphabets I, can you see in the like how much letters can you see in the card? Um, I think there's about uh, there's th uh, three. We got A, and then D, and then G. Sorry, there's a bus busker outside, sorry. Um, there's a trumpet player on the corner in the parking lot. Uh, so the, the letters again are A, and then D, and then G. Do you want the next voucher number? Okay, you have to the next voucher number. Okay, great. This one's a bit trickier to read. Okay. Okay, um, 
So the next, um, the next numbers, uh, I think it starts with um, C, E flat, F. And then C, E flat, F again. Yeah, and then uh, G flat, F. And then we go... Um, no, I'm not, I'm not actually trying to play games, but trying to play some music. But now you can hear the bass. Hold on. Listen, it's really cool. Yes. And you can swipe all the cards on your ass and see how the money comes from your mouth.